Ryan Little. <laughs>
holographic bags. It's a hundred of them in here. And these are the four by sixes. They're, I think they were like 16 bucks on Amazon. So of course, y'all, y'all want to count everything that y'all get from Amazon and your um, vendors just to make sure. But here they are. And your lashes are gonna go inside of these. So that's what was in that box. So let's see what was in this other box. Alrighty. Oh, these are the pipettes. Okay. So this is just a box of the pipettes. And in these pipettes, I think it's a hundred count. Two hundred count pipettes. So this is gonna go for the lip glosses and liquid lipsticks too. And count them. Count them. I'm telling y'all, count y'all stuff. So I need to count my pipettes, my lipstick tubes. Let me pull my walls back out because they've, so far, that's it. That's all Amazon dropped off to me today. I told y'all I was waiting on some more packages. Um, and I did get a new Michaels drawer set in too because I'm going to be using the drawer set for all of the nail stuff that I also ordered. So, hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Here we are with episode 2 of A&B Lavish unboxing. Yes, you guys, we're doing another unboxing and honestly... If you guys want to keep riding with me and see the journey of my business, then hit the subscribe button, hit the notification, give this video a like so I know to keep doing the a &B Lavish series, and comment down below what you would like to see next coming up in the series. So, this is part two. Well, this is series two, episode two <laughs> of me unboxing everything I got. And you guys, I got a lot, okay? So I got some things from Walmart. I got some things from TKB. I got some things from Amazon. And I think that's it. So as of right now in real time of me filming this is may 27th and i still have more orders coming i got some of my stuff in so that i could start making all of my stuff to put on the site so yeah if you want to see what all i've unboxed what all i'm going to unbox and what to be looking forward to on the website then just keep watching so once again, I am on my floor in my room because I think the natural lighting is so good. Um, so first off, don't judge me by the way I look. I'm about to put on my wig and do my IGTV makeup tutorial as well as my TikTok video. So if you guys are not following me and basically my son on TikTok, then I will have the link or I will have it scroll across here where you can find us on TikTok. Um, he does use my TikTok because his phone is broken at the moment. So he uses my TikTok under my name to create videos and stuff. And I so far only have one TikTok video on there, but I am currently working on another TikTok. So, anyways, don't judge me for my hair, but you guys know I don't mind coming on camera without makeup or anything on. That doesn't bother me. So, let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. First thing I got is grapeseed oil, and this is the non GMO verified grapeseed oil um, I'm gonna be using this for lip glosses and lip glosses body oils lip scrubs stuff like that so I will be using grapeseed oil and make sure you guys let's throw this disclaimer out there right now make sure when you're shopping my website make sure you guys 
look at the description of what all is made like for my lip glosses i will have the ingredients that is made with that lip gloss for the liquid lipsticks for the body shimmers for all that stuff i will have what all ingredients is in the description so just in case somebody's allergic or somebody don't like something y'all need to check it out because y'all not about to come and sue me okay so let's get that right right now y'all not about to sue me for nothing i'm gonna have everything on my website with with the description to it okay everything that i will be using everything is organic everything is vegan free type of thing everything is pure all that so make sure you check the description of that product so like i said grapeseed oil is gonna go into some products i have this big bag from walmart now with the walmart order i did order some things on walmart.com for pickup so that i wouldn't have to go in but after i went to pick up my order i did actually think of some things to get and i wanted to do a seafood boil so i ended up having to go inside anyway so i kind of like defeated the purpose but at the same time I had already placed that order and I wasn't about to place another order for pickup and then turn around, go back the next day, yada, yada, yada. So half of this stuff is mixed with the pickup order as well as the stuff that I, as well as the stuff that I went inside and picked up. So, oh, this one here is from Amazon. I had to throw it in here because I couldn't remember if I showed you guys or not. So I did get, oops, off Amazon. No, I think this was Walmart, you guys. I honestly think this was Walmart. This is the Sky Organics 100% Pure and Natural Fractionated Coconut Oil. And it's good for hair, skin, massage, DIY. And it's cruelty-free and vegan-free. So, boom, I did get that. I did get that and it came with a little pump I believe or the pump came with this one one of the two. Oh no this one has a dropper so the fractionated coconut oil from Majestic's Majestic Pure Cosmeticals 100% fractionated coconut oil I just got a different brand and I think this one was the one off Amazon so I have two fractionated coconut oils and both of them are 100% pure both of them are cruelty free and vegan free so I do have two of those and you guys I need to get another storage system to store all of my stuff for the website and for the business um okay I did get imitation coconut flavoring by Adams Extract this is just for the smell of my products i'm gonna use a few drops of this for the smell now i did taste this it does taste like coconut it does taste like coconut which i hate um but i'm starting to like the smell of coconut and it does it tastes like coconut but it also tastes like whatever is in here that the extract Y'all excuse my kids in the background. But I am going to use this for the smell. Okay. So if you guys end up smelling coconut in some of my products. It's this to use in some of the things that I will be making. And now my camera is trying to die. Alright. So I'm back. We had to switch angles and areas i had to go and get big mama out because the other camera is freaking charging so hopefully we're not crooked or anything we're gonna try to make this work okay because i gotta show you guys all the stuff i got so like i was saying i did get the imitation coconut flavor and this is by Adams Extract. So keeping up with the Walmart bag. 
y'all. I'm telling y'all I had to move from one side of the room to another. So I did get the Great Value Extra Virgin Olive Oil. And this one is going to be for some products too. You guys, I'm currently right now making rose water. Like literally while we're talking, I'm making rose water. And I got real rose petals, purified water. Boom, bam. It's on the stove right now. Okay. So, olive oil. This is the regular olive oil. I do have the organic, who is this by? Great Value Organic US Grade A Raw, raw Honey. <laughs> and this is uh, certified raw honey so that I could do the lip scrubs. Okay, so I got Organic Great Value, uh, what is this? Granulated cane sugar and it says it's great for bacon but this is going to be a part of the sugar the lip scrubs this is going to be a part but of course you guys i want to mix it up make it test it and see if it comes out just as good that i want it um and i'm going to be bringing in brown sugar too i want to do brown sugar too as well as the organic sugar so hopefully you guys are getting excited. So I got coloring. I got assorted food coloring for the lip scrubs. And I have green, blue, red, and yellow in this one. Boom. And this one is from Great Value 2. And it's like food coloring and egg dye. You know what I'm talking about? This is just to change the color of the lip scrubs. And I got I also got McCormick's assorted food color and, and egg dye. Same colors. I just want to see which one works better. Great value if their colors is more potent or McCormick if it's more potent. And everybody should know McCormick is something very, very famous as well as great value. I mean, I would use Kroger's brand if it needs to be and then I only seen what I only found McCormick's black coloring food coloring so I had to get the black like I said you guys sorry for if y'all hear my kids y'all know what it is we're quarantined so I really don't need to explain that but here's the black oh I got one more too the McCormick neon colors too I got purple green pink and blue and this is the neon colors so hopefully it actually does neon you know what I'm saying so that's why I said I wanted to test out and play around with the stuff before I even put it on the site I'm not gonna make something throw it on the site just to make a sale no I need to play around with this stuff first and then make sure that I got my measurements and my recipe together the right way that I want it. So, last thing I got out of that is the Lorian Gourmet. Lorian Gourmet, and this is the Summer Fruit Super Strength Flavorings. <laughs> you guys, I got the flavorings, and I did get some more flavorings from TKB Trading. I got it from. I think her name is Vivo and uh, Etsy shop, but I seen these on the Walmart uh, app and I was like, dang, Walmart sell them too. So I got blueberry, raspberry, and pineapple flavors. And this you can actually taste and it actually tastes like what it is. And then I got another one, another pack, and it is peppermint, orange, and lemon. So, yas, I'm super excited. And this is the, yeah, these are flavorings. This one here is the summer fruit. This one is the all natural. And this one here is the traditional mix. And every last one of them are by Lauren Gourmet. Gourmet, whatever. So I got cinnamon oil. I got cinnamon, cherry, and peppermint on the natural, on the traditional. So I got traditional, natural, and summer fruit soup and like I said I have more 
coming. So I'm going to have all kinds of flavorings and stuff coming into the shop. Another thing I got from Walmart is cardstock paper so that I can make my own thank you cards. You guys, I'm trying to save money any way I can. Okay. Oh, I'm not even going to try it. <laughs> Cardi B. Okay. So I got the cardstock so that I can make my thank you cards. And this one here is 150 sheets. I could do two. So that makes 300 thank you cards to put into everybody's order as well as my business cards they still haven't came in yet but i am waiting on them my wife finally got a business number so you guys i will update that and have the business number attached to everything <sighs> and then i got the good old aloe vera juice oh y'all these kids these kids these kids girl they out there in the room fighting so where was i at talking about the car stock so i did get the car stock or whatever and i did get some organic unrefined virgin coconut oil and i got the biggest bottle that i could find so that i can use it for my liquid lipsticks and all that stuff like whatever i need to use this for i got it and it's unrefined, it's organic, it's pure, boom, bam, okay? Oh, and I did get my scale. So I did get the shipping scale. Of course, it's really called the kitchen scale, but it is a shipping scale that I will be using to ship off y'all packages and all that good stuff. So I got that. I don't know if I showed you guys this in the in episode one, but... Uh, my lash packs came in okay so these lash packs are beauty on a budget this is what we're gonna call beauty on a budget and you get all five pairs different styles for five dollars i'm gonna have it on the site so cute right and i do currently have 50 pairs okay i have 50 pairs and these are on the site for five dollars so that's gonna be that oh i'm so excited these came now these are beauty on a budget and lavish on a budget is still not here yet in real time so lavish on a budget will be here and they will run for seven moving on i did get two tkb trade-in gloss bases and these are the 5.5 ounces and I'm gonna use these and work with these to make my rainbow lip glosses you guys know I'm all about the colors you guys know I'm all about the LGBTQ all that good stuff so I want to make rainbow lip glosses so I got the five ounces so that I could play around with it and see how I could do it so yes <laughs> And then the last two items of this portion of the video, because y'all know I'm not going to just upload, maybe, maybe, maybe I will make this just part two, uh, episode two, and then go on to episode three with this unboxing right here. Yeah, I'm going to do that. So the last two things is I got my mailers in. I'm super excited. And now I can actually rip them open. Ugh that I'm showing them so I did get two orders of 20 pack mailers from Amazon which came out to $30 and they're all different sizes they're all different sizes they look like this so freaking cute so they did come with these kisses that I could stick on there, which I think is super freaking cute. I think this is probably what made me buy it. But I have different sizes, and I do know the sizes of all of them. This one is the 6x10. I have 6x10, 8.5x12, 5x9, and the 7x11. So I got all sizes for 
all shipping, okay? And like I said, each of them is 20, two orders of 20, y'all, which I am gonna count, y'all know me. I'm going to count them. But it's so freaking cute, look at the color. Yes, there's a holographic, I'm super excited to have them. My wife just brought me some other mailers that they're not like ideal but we're still gonna use them I got the regular ones that she brought me so we are gonna use these two and she got all sizes of those two which they're in the drawer they all look like the same size but I am gonna go through them count them to make sure I got 40 To make sure I got 40 and make sure everything is correct though and then the last item I got is my second printer you guys I got this HP desktop the HP desk jet y'all I was having problems with um, making my labels and stuff and because they have the sticky back the way my printer that I have in there goes, you load the paper on the bottom, it flips backwards and print out on top. So once it goes to flip and print, it was catching the stickers. So I was like, I need one that you slide in the back and it just automatically shoot out and go. That's what I need for the shipping labels, the rest of my labels and all that. So Babe bought me a second printer which is going to be used for business and home as well as the other one because I still love my other one. Y'all, my other one makes photos and everything. So, I did pick this up and at Walmart, this was only 40 bucks. Uh, well, $44. So, I got that and that is everything to this inventory unboxing and yeah when i go to start making things and all that y'all know i'm gonna take y'all on a journey let y'all see my ups and downs when it comes to it and hopefully you guys will jump on the site and be ordering up some things because your girl is putting in some hard work i've been researching i've been googling i've been you know doing the whole nine of Finding my vendors, the perfect vendors, the right vendors, the affordable vendors, the ones that are not scamming and all that stuff. Like, I've been doing a lot. Like, my brain does not stop. So, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments what you would like to see on this series. And I will work on it. And, yeah, that's it to this inventory unboxing. So, I love you guys in the words of my loyal subscriber. Y'all keep shining and I will catch y'all in the next one. Deuces.